Hey, welcome back guys, John Moroz here, and hopefully by now you have got a WordPress blog online and you pretty much understand the basic essentials of everything you need to know about having your own uh, personalized site online, as we discussed in the previous videos. That was some really powerful stuff, so if you didn't fully understand that and you haven't gotten that, you can go back to that training at any time just by scrolling down to the bottom of this page and hitting one previous uh, lesson. Uh, and again, there, guys. There's there's a lot to go over. Don't expect that you can do this in you know three or four days. Uh, perfecting your WordPress site is something that can happen over years time. You know, I'm always adding stuff to my site, so just just don't let that overwhelm you. And never wait to market. I mean, uh, the worst thing you can do is always be getting ready to get ready to get ready to get ready to get ready and never take action. <laughs> so what you want to do more than anything is just make sure to get that content out there. Very, very, very important and just start your marketing as quickly as possible. And to start your marketing as quickly as possible, um, one of the best things that you can do is start to grow your list. Um, now what, is I, what do I mean by growing your list? Now, growing your list really comes down to having your prospect opt in with their information, for example, their name and email, in exchange for something of value. Now we talked about this in the beginning of this course uh, when we talked about a funded proposal. That's something that MLSP does, for example, is they, they provide you with tons and tons of resources, of valuable information that you can offer to people uh, in exchange for their name and email. So they'll give you courses on how to generate leads on Facebook, how to generate leads with Twitter, how to do search engine optimization or video marketing. And they train you on all this kind of stuff with invaluable training I mean, that you can use for yourself and that you can also offer to other people. Uh, now when you start to get advanced and you start to you know, apply some of this training that you learn, what did I say once before? You learn, uh, apply, and see results and then teach. Okay, so once you start to see these results, you start marketing, you start uh, sponsoring hundreds of people in your businesses, you start making hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales, then it's more than likely you can go ahead and go out and produce your own products if you decide to, and you can do trainings like this as well. Okay, and then you can offer your own 10-day uh, series or whatever it might be. Um, and this is exactly a, a good example of how I grow my list. I offer a 10-day marketing uh, video training series. I provide something of value in exchange for name and email. And then here what I'm hoping to be doing is building a relationship with my prospects that I can learn to, uh, that I can have them get to know, like, and trust me. Uh, and then therefore in the future they'll turn to me for um, you know, advice. Uh, and hopefully we can partner up and uh, become you know business partners and we're here for the long term to work together so th this is what growing your list is all about and I'll tell you guys I mean once you start to get up there 5,000 10,000 people on your list you are literally almost guaranteed as long as these are targeted leads you get into the five to ten thousand uh, people on your on your list you're you're creating a six figure a year income start going much over that you know a hundred thousand thirty thousand fifty thousand you can if you if you're doing things right uh... you can you know easily be bringing in fifty to eighty thousand dollars per month okay Hopefully that makes sense, so let's get into it and uh, let's uh, run through how to properly uh, work with autoresponders and then we'll go over some other stuff here in the bottom, uh, you know, some questions that you might have as well. Personally, I love and use uh, and recommend Aweber. Uh, these are the two most common uh, autoresponders in the industry, which is Aweber and GetResponse. Personally, Aweber, I, I just see that it has better tracking, better analytics, better reporting, uh, better deliverability, all that kind of stuff. So if you're going to go with one, my, my opinion is Aweber. Uh, a lot of people still like GetResponse as well. Other than that, the only one that I might recommend, uh, the only couple of the ones that I might recommend would be uh, Infusionsoft or Eye Contact. But they're, they're a bit, Infusionsoft is just you know very expensive. Eye Contact, it doesn't integrate with a lot of stuff that you usually do when it comes to internet marketing. Okay, so with that being said, I'm just going to click here on Aweber and I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. All right, now once you're logged in, once you purchase Aweber, uh, one of the first things that you're gonna do is you're going to want to create a list. So to do that, you just wanna go to My List, and then here you're gonna uh, click on Create a New List. And then here, 
uh, you'll see that your first list name is going to have a default name. Now I should also say this as well. The first time that you come into Aweber, you're going to have a default list already built. You know, So you can actually just go to My Lists and edit your default list uh, the first time. Any other time after that, you're going to want to go to My List and then you're going to want to create a new list. Okay, And this is another uh, good question that I get from a lot of people is uh, if you're in multiple things, say MLSP and you know a network marketing company and you're also promoting an affiliate product and you want to have a different list for each one of these things, do you have to have three different Aweber accounts? Absolutely not. You can have as many different lists in Aweber as you like, and I'll get into that in just a second. Okay, so here's how you do it. First, let's just fill out the basic information. I'm going to go ahead and close the setup wizard. Uh, but list name, this is just for your own reference so that you know, uh, you know when people opt in to your list, you know where they're opting into. So if I wanted to call this, uh, let's call this uh, John Moreau's 10-day... Uh, 2012. Let's just call it that. 2012. Something like that. So 10 day 2012. Something like that. Okay. So uh, boot camp video series 2012. Um, this is just a description of the list. So I know that when somebody opts in, I know exactly what, where they're coming from uh, or what they're doing. Okay. The, the from name. Uh, when somebody receives an email from my autoresponder or from my email account, this is the address that it's going to come back. It's going to look as uh, so if they reply to the email, it's going to go to this email. Does that make sense? Uh, so John and JohnMoreau's.com. Now uh, they ask that you try to stay away from free accounts like AOL or Gmail or any of that kind of stuff. Uh, which is not going to be a problem for you because if you've been through this training, you've already got a hosting account and you have unlimited email addresses. So you can just go in and add an email. And while we're talking about that, let me go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, so you just go to yourdomainname.com and then how do you get to your cPanel from your hosting account? You go to forward slash cPanel. So yourdomainname.com forward slash cPanel. Okay, and once I'm logged in here, all I have to do is scroll down to email mail here it is right here and you just want to go to email accounts alright and then you find your domain name whatever domain name it is and then you just you type in whatever you want it to be so it would be john at sevenfigureelite.com then you just create a password and then you create an account once you create an email address uh, you can uh, decide to forward that email to your gmail account or your aol or whatever you're using or you can simply check your email from within your cPanel. So that's how easy it is to create an email account with, when you have a hosting um, uh, account. All right, so very, very easy, guys. Just go to yourdomainname.com forward slash cPanel, and then go to mail, and then just create a new email account. And that's all you got to do. Super easy. One more time, uh, log into your uh, HostGator account, click on email accounts, and here it is right here. All right, easy enough. And then after you're done with that, you come back over here and you enter it into there. Easy enough. Okay. Now, anytime you have a, a, a notification when somebody opts into your um, list, you want to be notified by email. So I'm going to send this to John Moreau's at gmail.com. I'm going to add that. Okay. So I'm going to save these settings. And now I'm going to go to step two personalize my list. So I'll just say John Moreau's Kinesis. Productions Inc. Website URL is my website. Uh, email signature, I'm just going to leave it alone. Um, upload your logo, you can decide to, you know, actually, this is kind of new. You can do it right from your, your um, computer. So let's go ahead and add a uh, picture of my myself there because I'm branding myself. Okay, so I've got my picture there. All right, and then you can also uh, connect your social media accounts. If this is the first time you're doing this, you'll have to actually add your social media accounts. That's very self-explanatory. Uh, but you know, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make Twitter. Uh, this is going to be the default for my Twitter, and then I'm going to add my Facebook account right here. Okay, so now we've got the uh, uh, Facebook and Twitter connected. All right, now global tech snippets. This is something. Once you get involved with MLSP, 
uh, you'll you'll probably start to use some of this kind of stuff because they they create lists for you already. Uh, but for now, you, you don't really need to worry about that. There's a whole set, uh, section on this in MLSP in the back office. Okay, if you decide to go ahead and go with that. Now that you're done with uh, that, now you're just going to go ahead and go to confirmed opt-in. What does confirmed opt-in mean? That means, say for example, if somebody's on my website right here, and they put their name and email in. Well, instead of them going directly to the page that I want them to go to, they're going to be sent to an AWeber uh, uh, page and then they're going to get an email asking them if they are sure that they want to be on my list. Then they have to click again to uh, be forwarded to the page that I want them to go to. So personally, I don't like that. I want to send my prospects directly uh, where I want them to go right after where I went when they opt in. So as soon as they opt in, they go exactly to the page I want them to go to. The one downside to that is that sometimes people can put in fake names and fake emails. This is where you just have to have a good enough lead magnet uh, that they're going to want to subscribe to uh, your list. Now, what's the purpose in putting their name and email here for a 10-day video training series? Why, why would they put a, a fake email in here if they, this, is, this is a 10-day course? Does that make sense? Obviously, this is going to be emailed them, uh, emailed to them. So if they have a fake email address, they're not going to get the content. So, so that's why you have to have a good enough lead magnet to make sure that your prospect puts in the right information. Okay? Sound right? All right, so that's it. So uh, because I have this turned off, I do not need a success page. So I'm going to go ahead and save the settings. And we are done with creating a new list. All right? So now let's go into messages, follow up. Now here's, here's something that the first time you get started with your AWeber account, this will take the most amount of time. Uh, now, if you have a system like MLSP, and I hate to bring this up all the time, but if you have a system like that, what happens is, uh, let me go ahead and show you my MLSP account. MLSP right here, okay? Um, they've already written all the follow-up messages for me, and there's 24 follow-up messages. So what they do is, in MLSP, they give you a follow-up code, and I just take the code and paste the code in right here and click on Load Campaign. Instantly, all of my messages are already created for me, and they already have all of my links in them and everything. It's already done for me. So I am literally set up and ready to go. The good thing about that is that AWeber is only $1 for your first month. So what MLSP does for you is it enables you to be able to use your AWeber account for your first month all for one dollar. You could be up and marketing by tonight, get your first couple sales in within the first couple days to weeks, and you're already in profit, right? So very, very powerful. Now, personally, for, for my teams, anybody that partners up for me as well, I always go through all of the, um, uh, let me get, give you a good example here, my, uh, Infinity. Okay, ID review. Here's one of my companies that I'm with here. I also wrote 26 follow-up messages for my team, and I share these messages with my teammates. So when somebody uh, partners up with me, they get a code from me, they copy that code, and they paste the code in, and they load the campaign. And I do this for all of my teammates as well. So they already have, uh, they're already up and running, and they've got all their follow-up messages. Now, just in case you don't know, what is a follow-up message? Well, as soon as somebody opts in to your autoresponder, they're redirected to the page that you want them to go to, and they're sent the first follow-up message in your autoresponder. Okay, so you can see message number one goes out immediately. Zero, interval, 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 zero. <laughs> so the very first message goes out immediately. They receive this this message. The second message goes out one day after. The third message goes out one day after that one. The fourth message goes out one day after that one. By day ten, eleven, the you know the eleventh message goes out two days after the previous one. Make sense? And then they just start getting backed up, backed up, backed up, you know, three, five. Okay? So that's how follow-up messages work. Um, you can go in and actually create your own follow-up messages. So, like, uh, let's look at uh, MLSP, for example. Uh, here's the first message that uh, somebody will receive when they opt into my MLSP uh, website. All right? So what we've got here is the entire... You know, I usually like to do both HTML and uh, plain text, so I'm going to use a different example for that reason. 
I'm going to use the Empower Network. Okay, so when somebody actually opts into my Empower Network site, uh, they're they're going to go, they're automatically going to be redirected. Let me bring you over here, for example, so you can get a better look at this. Okay, so as soon as somebody opts into my Empower Network site uh, with their name and email, they're instantly sent to a presentation that I've built. Uh, all it, it's called the Six Figure uh, Formula. Uh, that shows them exactly how I've been able to generate six figures with Empower Network in literally just a, a matter of uh, months. Um, and they're di directed that presentation, and if for any reason, uh, uh, you know, they, they have to leave the presentation early or whatever it might be, well, they were also sent uh, this, you know, uh, first uh, follow up message. And in that first follow up message, I can send them right back to that uh, presentation. Now, we also talked about this in the WordPress uh, tutorial, so on how to do hyperlinking. Well, it works the exact same way with uh, Aweber. Uh, say, for example, here it says, um, as you'll learn the exact formula that I have personally taken to generate a multiple six-figure yearly income, and then I have my link here to my bonus video. Well, instead of having my link right here, I'll copy this, and what if I just want to say um, six six figure bonus video okay and then now what I would do is highlight it and click on the hyperlink just like we do in WordPress and I can paste in the uh, bonus video okay and then I just go ahead and click apply alright and then now that is hyperlinked so that when somebody clicks on that it sends them right over same uh, deal would work down here I'm gonna go ahead and click this here copy this and paste that there. Okay? Now, same deal works with images. Uh, this is an image right here, okay? So, you have to have your image hosted online to put it into your autoresponder follow up message. Uh, a good example of this is I'm going to go ahead and go over to my bonus video. Okay, so I'm going to leave this page. And I'm going to say that One I want really to everything there was that it captured. So I'm going to take a screenshot of this video and actually include this in my follow-up message. So to do that, I'm going to do something like this. I'll just take this here and uh, uh, copy that video right there. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. So what I want to do is actually host this video, host the image of this. Uh, not the video itself, but host the image and then include this in my follow-up message. So to do that, I'm just going to change the size of it really quickly. Oh, and by the way, guys, the, the program that I'm using right here is, um, is uh, called Snagit. Uh, if you wanted to know that, just, just by the way. I'm just going to decrease that to 60%, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Uh, empower bid. All right, and I'm just going to save that to the desktop close that out, go back over here, and I'm going to log uh, back into my uh, back office of my WordPress blog, and I'm just going to upload that image right here. We already talked about this on how to do this before in media, and all I'm going to do is take this file URL, and remember, if I paste that in there, you can see this, that I just hosted the image right there, right, from my WordPress blog. So I'm just going to copy that URL, and right here, I'm going to, uh, let's make sure that that's the first one. Say I want the image to go right there, so a six-figure yearly income. All I'm going to do is go up to the, the little uh, uh, icon of the uh, image, and I'm just going to paste that in right here, okay? And I'm going to insert that, all right? Now, it's a little too big for my liking, so I'm just going to scroll it back down a little bit, and uh, I want this this URL again. So now I'm going to link this image to that page. Okay? So I'm going to insert that. So even though it looks like, you know, there's a, a video in the email, it's not really, but somebody will go to click the play button and it'll take them right to that presentation. Make sense? Alright, so that's about it. That's linking and images. That's all you really need to know about in here. I mean, you can bold, italicize, underline, highlight, you know, make red, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but, you know, at the same time, it, you know, it's, it's just 
I've always seen it to convert better this way. All right, and then after you're done with that, you can kind of preview of what it's going to look like, and here's what it's going to look like here. You can see, and if I actually go to press play on that video, it's going to take me right over to my presentation that I just talked about. Really cool stuff, isn't it? All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and save that message, and that'll be my first message. That's how easy it is when it comes to um, adding a follow-up message. Uh, when it comes to the HTML area as well, this is called plain text. Uh, this is HTML. I like to do them both just in case it's not necessary. You can't do hyperlinking down here, so you need to actually include the full URL with HTTP down at the bottom. Uh, but up top, you can do the hyperlinking. Any images, hyperlinking, text, all that kind of stuff. It's cool? Very easy stuff. Another tool that I'm going to leave down here for you as well is something called the email formatting tool. Now, it's been proven that, uh, you know, it's, and you might have even noticed this before. Uh, that you know people that write emails in, in uh, these these formats you want to stay thin even though they have these you know wrap long lines here in Aweber you want to keep your text at a certain width if you keep them too far wide and you have a lot to talk about people's eyes get tired very quickly and they usually don't read all the way through the email and they usually delete it beforehand so if you keep it thin like this uh, that it's easier for people to read. So I'll leave a formatting tool just below uh, this video as well. Let me go ahead and make a note of that. Email format. All right, and then all you do is you paste your context in here, or your text in here, then you click submit, and then it's gonna format it for you to make it real thin, then you copy it, and then you just bring it back over here and paste it in. And that's really about it, guys. Okay? So that's how you do uh, messages and follow-up. From there, you can also do a broadcast. Once you start doing, uh, once you start to build up a list of a couple hundred people, or maybe even, it doesn't really have to be a couple hundred people, it could be ten people. Uh, when I first got started, um, you know, as I told you in previous uh, um, uh, video tutorials before, I would go out and I would learn a, a whole bunch of, uh, of stuff. You know, I became a, a student of the industry. And once I learned something, I would go and post it to my blog. And then I would go out and tell people on Facebook about it and, you know, kind of share it with other people. And soon enough, I started generating leads. And now I only got a couple leads in the very beginning. I got two or three leads in the very beginning. And what did I do? I went out and I sent a broadcast to those two or three leads that I generated and told them how I generated two or three leads. Right? So I just took them along the journey with me. And that's all you can do as well. You can do the same exact thing. So all you're doing is taking these people along with, or, for, with you on the ride. Okay? And then once you start to get more and more advanced, you start to build up your list. As you can see, the last broadcast I went out to, I don't send you know uh, emails to my entire list, uh, you know, but I select certain ones. So my last email went out to you know a little over 6,300 people. The one before that went out to 7,800 people. Just depends on the list that I'm including and in, and in, in not including in in the uh, broadcast. Uh, so very very powerful. Once you get get up to this point, guys, you can literally send out one email and bring in thousands upon thousands of dollars almost instantaneously instantaneously without fail. So very, very cool, very powerful stuff. That's the, just creating a broadcast and sending out a message. Now again, do not spam people. You know, really try to provide value. Always think about what your prospect wants and then offer the solution. It's not always about, you know, you just trying to make money. There are real people on the other line and you have to realize that. These are not just clicks. These are not just people clicking ads. These are people with emotions and people that have feelings and you have to treat them as such. You know, this is, you're here to build a long-term relationship with these people. All right, makes sense? So that's what it comes down to when it comes to creating a, a broadcast. Blog broadcast, that's just when you can connect your own blo uh, uh, blog to it. Uh, subscribers, you can actually search for um, specific uh, uh, subscribers. Add a subscriber, which I really don't recommend. Remember, Aweber is not an email blasting tool. It's uh, something that uh, you can, um, you know, have people. Uh, they they should ask to subscribe to your list. You don't force them to subscribe to your list. Okay. Um, so, but they do have these these options in here. Um, you can unsubscribe people, you can block people, suppress whatever you want to do here when it comes to your subscribers. Web forms. This is some really cool stuff here, guys. So, um, when it comes down to creating a web form, let's go back and take a look at one of my uh, most recent web forms that I put up. 
Here is a, a web form that I put, uh, that I've created, and this is actually the web form right here, okay? This entire area right here. So what this is, as you can see, if I view this image, you can actually see that this is what the image looks like at the top. So I actually created that image. Once I created that image, below it, I put in the name, email, phone number, biggest question, and then I've got a button below it. Okay, so this is where you actually create the web form. So let's go ahead and create one here for the 10 day series. And I'm just gonna do something generic here. Okay, so I have no web form here. So let's just go ahead and create one. And what I always like to do is just, you know, I, I usually just choose a basic one uh, because I like to do my own designs. If you're not a desi uh, designer, what I recommend is going to somewhere like Odesk if you really want to have a nice and uh, fancy web form built. Or um, let me leave another resource down for you below. I personally use Photoshop. You can use Photo Filter. So I'll leave Photo Filter. It's completely free. And I'll leave that for you below this video as well if you decide to design your own web form. Uh, or again, you know, have somebody design it for you for a couple bucks. I'm just going to select basic, I'm going to load that template, and I'm just going to say uh, something like up and below uh, to pick up your 10 day video training series. This is getting generic guys, I would obviously not use this because there's not a lot of um, this is not professional copywriting. <laughs> uh, I'm just using this as, as an example. And uh, you can change the way it looks as well. And bold it. Okay, and save. So that's an example. Now if I actually go to my membership site, um, let's look at like the team pages. I actually create um, web forms and capture pages and all that kind of stuff for my teammates as well. So one of the things that I do is I give them access to all these type of buttons. So if I actually view this image, here is a button uh, that, I'll, that I'll use here as well. So what I'll do is I'll just go down here to the submit button, I'll click on that, close this out, I'm going to click on advanced, and I'm actually going to paste that uh, image for the button in. Okay, so now I've got the, the get access now button. Okay, and then nowadays people kind of know that we respect their po uh, policy, their privacy. And then there you go, that's how quickly I created a web form. Alright, so easy enough. If Again, if you're wondering how I did that, again, all I did was I right clicked view image and uh, you can see the URL up here. So I scroll over it and I right click and copy or I press control C for copy. And then I come back over here, and then there's an, a button image, and I pasted that in. All right, you can you know customize it yours 100% of the way. Okay, and I'm just going to go ahead and save that web form, and I'm going to move on to step two. Now, step two, uh, this again is for your own use, so that you know where people are opting in. Uh, let's say this is going to be for my John uh, Moreau's uh, 10 day uh, blog. So I know that when somebody opts in to this web form, they came and they opted in on my blog. So I can track exactly where they came from. Uh, if you do Facebook, a lot of Facebook stuff, you can actually um, have people opt in from Facebook, which is really you know pretty cool as well. Uh, your thank you page, I want them to be a custom URL. Uh, and when they opt in to my page, I want to redirect them to my day one of my boot camp. So let's go to day one of the boot camp. All right, John Morris, who is day one John Morris, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. So as soon as somebody opts in to, to my site, they're gonna be forwarded right to my thank you page, which is day one. Now, this would be completely different if this was a sales video uh, or a sales presentation. If, I, if it was for a network marketing company, if for an affiliate product, or whatever it might be, I would usually have them redirected right to a sales video, okay? Um, so I might not even keep this here. I might actually send them to my MLSP presentation, you know, later on down the road. We'll we'll, we'll see where that goes. But for this for this example, I'm going to keep it. Send them right on over to uh, John Moreau's day one. Who is he? And how can he help you? Already subscribed page. I want them to go to the same exact page. So if they've already subscribed, they're going to go right back to that same page. But they're not going to get double subscribed to my list. Aweber doesn't allow that. It'll only uh, take one email address. 
uh, per list. You, now you could have um, you know multi or similar e same email addresses on different lists, uh, but this is just for the same list. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that web form, and now we're just gonna publish it. Um, now you can either use the raw HTML code or the JavaScript code. Personally, I always use the JavaScript code, and I'm just gonna uh, you know give you an example of this. Now when we get into the capture page uh, pre uh, uh, tutorial, which is tomorrow on the next, or I'm sorry, I should say the next day, depending on how fast you want to go through this uh, this uh, course, um, I'm gonna show you how to get your uh, uh, opt-in forms onto a capture page. Uh, today I'll show you how to get them installed on your blog because we've already discussed blogs. So as an example, um, I'll go ahead and log into this website here. Okay, so let's go to Empower Network. And I'm going to go into my Appearance Widgets. Okay, and then for the widgets, I want to go to the blog sidebar and I am going to add a text widget. Do, 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 do. I cannot find text, there it is. So all I'm gonna do is grab a text widget and you can see it right underneath my Google Google plugin and all I'm gonna do is paste in my JavaScript code, okay? So again, all I did is I grabbed my JavaScript code here, I went over to my Empower Network uh, back office and I pasted that in and I'm gonna click Save. Okay, and now if I go back to Empower Network, you can see that here's my Google plugin that you just saw right before that. And I'm going to refresh the page. I have a little opt in redirect there. I'm going to refresh the page. And you can see right below my uh, Google area, here is the opt in box that we just put in. Easy enough, guys, so that's how it works. Now, when somebody puts their name and email in, they're going to be redirected uh, right over to my uh, um, uh, 10 day bootcamp series. All right, so that's uh, pretty much it when it comes to how to properly work uh, Aweber. Um, other than that, you've got your reports that you can generate. Um, tons of stuff. You can tell you know how many leads are opting in. You know, anytime I do a broadcast, all yeah, you can tell the difference here. Um, you know, here's my average you know lead flow anywhere from 163 leads, whatever it is. I send out a broadcast, 652 leads. You can kind of see it. I mean, it's it's you know pretty powerful stuff here, guys. All right. All right, so uh, now that that's covered, let's just go over a couple more things, and I think we are done with autoresponders. So, uh, a couple of things that you're going to remember, and again, you can go through these notes right below this. Is just make sure to give your prospect what they're looking for. Uh, as I always say, find the problem, offer the solution. Know your prospect's hot buttons, pain points, and the benefits they seek. This comes down to um, uh, making sure that you're marketing or targeting your market. Make sense? Okay, so don't overload them with too much useless information. Give them something that they can use. If you make a, pr a promise to deliver a free report, offer, or tool, always deliver and always add value and always try to over deliver if, deliver if you can. Be truthful. Dishonesty is never going to get you anywhere. Uh, you know, let them know that what they've discovered is truly something of great value. If it is obviously something like MLSP, you can send them to some great, great, great presentations, and they are extremely valuable. Uh, something like this, what you're learning here, if this is the first time you're learning about autoresponders, guys, this is extremely valuable stuff. So I know it is. Let your prospects know that. You know, they need to know that what you're um, providing to them is well worth it. All right, share your story. People always relate with you. People, you know, build your relationship. You know, put that about you page up at the top of your blog. Uh, you know, put that in your uh, autoresponder follow-up messages. Um, you know, and always have a strong call to action. Let them know what they need to do next. Provide the action step for them to take immediately. Mo uh, remove the risk. Let them know that what you have to offer is a more value than the price that they would pay. Over deliver. Okay. Same example with like MLSP, for example, guys. When I first got started in this industry, I literally paid twenty thousand dollars to learn the stuff that I did. I bought course after course after course, and now with MLSP, you can literally have that twenty thousand uh, dollars in education for about nine bucks to get started. All right, so that's what I mean by uh, providing uh, over over delivering. Okay. Um, what you have to offer is of more value than the price that they would pay. Make sense? All right, and uh, you know, there's always two reasons why somebody's going to join your business. Uh, one is that they perceive you as a leader who has value to offer 
and it is going to benefit them. So they need to know that you can guide them in the right direction to help them achieve their goals. All right, so that's one of the reasons why somebody's going to join you. You need to convey this in your messages. Two, you have a marketing system and a training uh, site in place that will help them build their business easier than if they were to do it on their own. Example, my lead system pro where you've got a membership site, something like that I have in place as well. And again, anybody that joins me my team gets access to that. And what's even better, anybody that joins them, they also get access to my systems as well. All right, Reco my recommendation, do them both. Join somebody that has everything in place for you as if you did it on your own. I do this for my teammates. Technology is the future. People that understand this now will continue to prosper while others will struggle. It's time to start generating your own leads and guiding them through your professionally crafted marketing funnels. All right, guys, that really does cover it. Just about everything that we need to talk about. Hopefully this is of extreme value to you. Um, tomorrow, uh, we are going to be getting into capture pages, which is the last day of conversion. The first days of this, the first two days of this course, were all about mindset. Uh, then we had four days of setting up your conversion, and now we're about to go into four days of traffic, and we'll probably go a little bit farther in that as well. So one more day, and tomorrow's a really cool lesson. I show you how to get your own personalized, customized capture pages online, and then we start driving traffic. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to it. Hope these uh, tutorials have been of huge value to you. If you liked them, be sure to leave a comment below, share this with your friends, tweet it, and, uh, and uh, we will go from there. Okay, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Take care for now.